Yep, that's me, unconscious and on the ground. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, it's a long story. Now, I could tell you my life story and tell you every problem I caused, every decision I made that led me here, but you don't have time for that. So I'll tell you what happened earlier today. I was a young, bright-eyed detective working for the Lovecraft Falls PD. It was my first day, and this city was harsh. Not as harsh as our boss, Cthulhu. Cthulhu was meaner than a junkyard. Uh, a junkyard, uh... I don't know, some animal that lives in a junkyard. Those places are dirty anyway. Ugh, Woody, it's you. You're a loose cannon, I tell you. A loose cannon! What are you talking about, sir? It's my first day. And it'll be your last if you screw it up. Now listen, there is some dame at a nearby pizza place. She claims that her pizza was... possibly stolen. Hmm, sounds easy enough. Give me the case. Here you go. Now remember, buy the books. Buy the books! Okay, sir, I'll play by the rules. No, I mean literally, buy the books. We, uh, we don't have it in the budget to give you a rule book anymore, so you had to buy it yourself. Fine then, I'll get right on it, and then I will solve this case. It's like what my mom always told me. Life is like a box of chocolates. Sometimes there's a mystery to solve. The heck does that mean? And so I left, thinking this would just be an open and shut case. Little did I know how wrong I was. But there was only one place that I could get all the answers. And that was Fazbear Entertainment Pizza. You, uh, called for us? Oh, oh, yes. Come in. Much obliged. Now then, tell me everything that happened. The devil's in Georgia, but he's also in the details. Well, you see, I was making a pizza for the loyal customers of Fazbear's Entertainment when I turned my back for one second and it was gone. What kind of low-down criminal steals someone's pizza? I know, right? It's such a tragedy. At first, I was just gonna believe Chica. I mean, why would she lie to me? But then I realized something just didn't smell right. And it wasn't the anchovies pizza. Is uh, something wrong? You've kind of been quiet for uh, quite a while. Say now. Do you like pizza? <laughs> well, uh, it doesn't everyone? Yeah, but what I find odd is that you are a robot, correct? Uh, yeah, what are you getting at? Well, it seems you're a messy eater because there's a lot of crumbs on your beak. <laughs> what? N no, no, my beak is fine. <laughs> what are you suggesting? I'm suggesting that maybe the culprit is in this very room. Oh, my word, how dare you. Security! Oh yes, I got you all figured out. For instance, you're a robot. But that means you can't eat food to survive. Nor at all. Which means you were jealous that other people could eat pizzas. Therefore... You ate the pizza to spite those who can eat pizza. Case closed. What, what are you even talking about? I literally run on pizza. Not to mention you're just accusing me out of nowhere when we literally have a security camera right there. That, that could have saved you a lot of trouble, but no, you just accuse me. Wait, what? Yeah, so now you're in big trouble, mister. Security! My heart skipped a beat thinking who can work at a place like Freddy Fazbear's and be their security. As I waited in anticipation, I realized it was 
Grogu from The Mandalorian. Well, Grogu, looks like you've hit hard times. What is a movie star like you doing in a place like this? Huh. <sighs> Guess you weren't cut out for the moving pictures. What? What the? What the? No, no, please, please. It was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> well, here we are at the beginning and end of my story, where I was tossed around and thrown away like some kind of unwanted toy. You're probably wondering how I solved this case. Well, uh, I didn't. In fact, the entire time I was recounting this case, I've been unconscious on the floor this whole time. I don't even know who I'm narrating to. Wait, shouldn't I have been woken up by now? It's been like over an hour. Am I in a coma? Oh no, that sounds terrible. Someone, please help. Oh yeah, I'm an inner monologue. They can't hear me. Well, I guess I'll, uh, lay here then. I mean, Cthulhu should probably be gaining me eventually. Where is Woody? He should have been back by now. He's taking a really long time. Oh, is that Woody? No, 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 that's a regular police officer. What's taking him so long?